Hi, Mike from the Excel Trainer here. And in this video, I'm going to show you several examples of how you can easily extract text from between two characters in Excel without using complex formulas. Last week, I was using Apple Numbers, the spreadsheet app that's part of the iWork suite. I happened to notice that not only does Numbers include the text before and text after functions that many of us in the Excel community were recently getting excited about, it also includes a text between function, which as of today, Excel doesn't have. It's always been possible to extract text from between two characters in Excel, but it involves a combination of functions. Take this one as an example. I need to extract the number that is between the brackets, which I've done using a long-winded formula. Not only does it take time to type the formula in, it also takes time to think through the logic. But using Power Query, I can do what I need to do without any formulas at all. I'm going to start by deleting column C, and then I'm going to click into the data and select data from table or range. Now in your version of Excel, it might say from selection or it might say from sheet. Microsoft have changed that wording a little bit uh, over the versions. I need to confirm where the data is coming from and it's picked up the correct range, but it hasn't detected that the first row is headings. So I need to tick that box and click on OK. Excel then launches the query editor. I now have two choices. I can either remove everything in the production ID column and leave just the text inside the brackets, or I can create another column which takes the data inside the brackets, and that's all that's in that other column. And I'm going to go for the latter. So I select production ID and then click on add column extract text between delimiters. The start delimiter is the open bracket. The end delimiter is the close bracket and click on OK. Then I want to close the query editor down. I've finished now. So I click on file and close and load to. The difference between close and load and close and load to is that close and load will load this data into a new sheet, but close and load to gives me a choice of where to put this data. So I'll choose close and load to, select existing sheet and select E1 and click OK. And there is my data. I'd probably want to format it to change the size of the font, but I have in column G just the text I need, which is an extract of the text within the brackets. In the second example, I have a list of documents and you'll notice they're in different folders. Some are in subfolders and one is in a sub subfolder. I need to extract just the file name from each cell. That's everything between the final slash and the full stop. I don't need the file extension. I need this to be a table and every table needs to have a heading. So I'm going to insert a blank row and just type, I can type anything there into A1. I will type file name. I don't even have to format that to match the rest of the text, but I will make it the same font size and then select data from table or range. Again, I need to select where the data is coming from and make sure Excel knows that the top row of this table is to be treated as a header. Again, I'm going to insert a blank column. So I click add column, extract text between delimiters. The start delimiter is the backslash and the end delimiter is the full stop. Now, I don't want it to start from the first backslash and that is the default. So it would pick up everything after the C colon backslash. I actually want it to start from the last backslash. So if I go into advanced options, what I can do is in the scan for the start delimiter, I can change that to be from end of the input and then 
click on OK. And I have a new column which just contains the file name. And then I will come out of the query editor and I will put this data starting at D1. There's our extra column. In this third demo, I have a report from YouTube. It shows my channel name, the video title, the video URL, and the video duration. Each item is separated with two colons, and this is just the way the report is generated. By the way, this isn't a real report. The data is real, but the format with the colon separator is made up for demo purposes. And for this demo, I need to extract the full URL of each video. Also, to make it different to the previous two examples, I'm not going to create a new column. I'm going to manipulate the data that is already there in column A. So click anywhere in this data and select data from table or range. Again, make sure it's picked up all the data from A1 to A8 and make sure that my table has headers is ticked. I'll start by widening the column so that we can see more of the data. And this time I'm not going to start by clicking add column because I don't want a new column. I'm going to go to transform and then extract text between delimiters. So add column extract creates a new column, transform extract manipulates the data in that column. The start delimiter is two colons and the end delimiter is two colons. I'm going to go to the advanced options and set the number of start delimiters to skip to one. And the reason that I'm doing that is because, remember, I'm trying to extract the URL and the URL comes immediately after the second set of colons. I don't want it to extract starting with the first. I want it to skip over the first set of colons and start extracting from the second set of colons up to the next set of colons. So the number of delimiters to skip is one and click on OK. And what I now have is for each video, the full URL of the video. The final demo will be a variation on what I've just done. This time I want just the video ID, which is the characters between the question mark V equals and the ampersand. So I'll click on data from table or range. Make sure it's picked up the correct range. Make sure there's a tick in the my table has headers box and click OK. As I did before, I will make that column wider and then transform extract text between delimiters. The start delimiter is question mark V equals and the end delimiter is the ampersand and click on OK. And now for each video, I have just the video ID. So that's four different examples of how to use the magic of Power Query to extract text between two characters or two sets of characters. Hopefully you'll agree that it's much simpler than having to come up with a long winded formula. If you found this video useful, please give it a like and make sure to subscribe for more. I also have a free weekly newsletter packed with tips to help you become more productive in Excel. You can sign up for that at theexceltrainer.co.uk. But until the next time, have an excellent day.